Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, North. Well, my nephew bought a 2000 Electro Glide. She's smooth. Original owner. Uh, it's got 31,150 miles on her. He was the original owner. That's what we liked. And here he's a police officer. I'm not sure where all the buttons are. I'm just taking it easy. Joe wanted me to ride it home for him, so I said, yeah, I'll ride it home, heck. I ride my electric glide. Beautiful bike. Got a good deal on it, too. I found it on Craigslist, and I sent him a picture of it and everything, and he called the guy right away, and the guy had just put it up. The day he put it up is when I noticed it. It was like it was meant to be. <laughs> went the wrong way I come out of there I thought for sure I should have took a right no it's a left that's right he's right I get out in the main road some nice houses up here and this is 1400 and some cc's just a little under I think 1500 it's a little tall for my legs I have a hard time with a kickstand it's even got a thing coming up off of it to help you to get a hold of it with your foot, and I still have a hard time. It's a five-speed. Uh, brand new tires on it. He just cha got changed oil. Was just inspected this month, so he's good there. see this I thought that'd be self-canceling turn signals I don't know it was self-canceling that is nice. Got a beautiful sound. She purrs. Really liking it. Just quit raining too. We went over to the uh, Notary Public to get transferred. It was raining like crazy. Come out of there, it eased up.
seat's nice. Man, it's wide. It's it's really nice. Comfortable. Uh, you feel a little vibration in the... Uh, I believe he said this is an Evo. Feel a little vibration, you know. I mean, nothing really to holler about. I mean, just a little bit in the hand, handlebars. But smooth, nice. And it has a teal, or toe heel shifter. That's what I like. Ever since I've had my uh, Suzuki, I've liked that. I got used to it on there. Oh man, I, don't, I wouldn't be without it. In fact, I gotta get one for my electric glide. We're already talking about taking some rides this summer. I like the analog thing like this. I don't like the LED thing. The uh, arms on that, I like that. You know what? I took the wrong road or something. That was so simple to get out of there and I must have messed it up. Now what I'll do is tell my nephew when we get back, he'll say, why'd you go that way? I'll say, because, you know, there's less traffic until I get used to the bike. <laughs> you pull a joke on him like that. <laughs> what happened was, I took the wrong road. Uh, It's got a clock, air temperature, oil, volts, fuel, everything like that. Now I have no idea where we're at. This place looks familiar. Yeah, it's a little tall in the saddle. two other bikes home for them and the one the v-rod got caught in the rain i had that on youtube i think it's still up the day we bought it today it rained but i didn't get in the rain i got a rain suit but i didn't put it on looks like it's clearing up I could do one thing to my old Harley. What I'd like to do is put a five speed in it. It's four speed. And you're always in these situations here, up and down, up and down. This one, it just, you know, you can be down a gear, whatever, and it's not like, well, you gotta get it in the higher gear and then you're going a little too slow. It just, uh, it's running nice. home electric glide I had to pull over because I seen the gas is cleared out almost on empty 
So I told them, uh, we got to hit the gas station, the first thing we can do. So, I like the ride, it's, it's comfortable, runs great. I told them the idling's a little rough. And I said, don't mess with it, take it to a dealer and get it set. It probably hasn't been set in a good while. It seems like it, it's, you get a lot of vibration at idle and it just doesn't seem quite, you know, set just right. I noticed when we was putting a license plate on, he had it running and it was like a little, kind of a, you know, like an exhaust smell that uh, is maybe a little off. Take it up there and let them adjust it. Make an appointment. Do it right. So we got to go get some high test. The man told us that's all he ever run in it. I told him the front brake, when I was first coming out of there and come up to a stop sign or a red light, man, I'm all over the place because I pull that brake. I'm like my bike. My bike's kind of soft. That one, woo. You touch it, it's stopping. That front brake is touchy. So then I started just laying my hand on it real easy. And then I seen, ah, just a light touch. And the, uh, to me, the clutch is a little kind of stiff. It's, you know, it's a little, it's not easy to pull. I mean, you got to use a little authority on it. Just little things, you know. Now that's my kind of ride and he might ride it and say, hey, it's perfectly fine. I like it. You know, it's all the individuals. But I, I would have to have a lower and get on this, I think. I can't reach a kickstand. He had to put it, put it down and put it up for me when I stopped back here. And I told him, I said, I can't reach it. Hey, I'm 5'3", what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> He's all happy. Gonna get his bike. Whew. Nice Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> 